Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to fix corrupt image file headers by me. Thanks to LPTK and Easybullet Tree at the Digital Photography Review forums for the original walkthrough and alternative explanation. I was rearranging the mess in my archives after upgrading my backup solution with another 8 terabytes, which led me to stumble upon some old photos. Uh, I couldn't really open them because Preview and Photoshop said that the photos were uh, corrupt or broken and I could not restore them back from the original SD cards because the data on the cards had been overwritten too many times. I refused to give up that easy though, but everyone I asked so that was out of luck that you could not restore raw image files and start going about the same old how important it is to keep your files backed up but I just discovered a guy from the Netherlands taking payments for restoring JPEGs manually that meant I could do it too regardless of what other people said so I shut my ears kept on wasting time on Google for possible answers if you try or have tried to open your file with EXIF tool but Phil Harvey and it's enabled to read the metadata, simply ignore it. I did and I have proof that this method works for both JPEGs and CR2 files and uh, more raw camera file types and image formats like PNG may be added to the list. I haven't tried them yet. I don't know much about coding but JPEG, unlike some other file formats, doesn't really have a file header just a start of data marker and some start of image markers with some rules. These markers delineate sections, one of which is the EXIF data, one of which is the image data and there may be others. What we want to do is to remove the data from the start of each file to the start of the image data and then save the file. Once all of the files are stripped down to image data, you will open a file containing only a header and append an image data file at the end. Save that file and open a header, append image data and so forth. Here is how you do it in steps. Install a hex editor, I used XVI32, you can download it here or you can click the link in the description. Then make at least one copy of all the damaged files so that you can work on the copies rather than the originals in case you Then open one of the damaged files in the hex editor, click on search and then find in the toolbar. Make sure hex string is selected and type FFTA in the text box. Remove the case sensitive option and click OK. A confirmation dialog box will appear, click no. Press the F3 button at the top left on your keyboard. The block marker should say FF and the next box should say DA. If it doesn't, Press the F3 button again until it pops up. This should happen two times and you should stop pressing F3 the second time it shows up. Select the DA block when FFDA shows up the second time by clicking on it. Choose edit, block mark from the toolbar and slide the scroll bar back to the top of the page. You know you're at the top if the line number says zero in the left margin. If it doesn't, try scrolling down a bit and then back up again. Highlight the very first box top left by clicking on it. It should say FF but not necessarily depending on the header corruption. Choose edit, block mark once more from the toolbar. The hex code should now be marked in a red color. This means you have successfully selected the image header. Choose edit and then block delete from the toolbar. You have now deleted the corrupted image header. We will now replace this header with a working one from another photo. Choose file and then save as from the toolbar and name your file aaa.jpg. Choose file and then open from the toolbar and select an image with the same file type as the one you're repairing, preferably one taken with the same camera and lens or edited in the same software as the one you're working with. Same orientation and file size as well, if possible. If you have a hard time finding it, try searching for examples on Google specifying model and lens. Then repeat the steps by clicking on the timestamps in the description below. 
to mark the header of your working image. Choose Edit, Clipboard, Copy from the toolbar. Choose File and then open and locate AAA.jpg. Do not save the changes to the previous photo if asked. Then choose Edit, Clipboard, Paste and then File, Save As to save the image with the new header. And you are done. Um, your correct image file will hopefully open in a picture viewer, Photoshop or similar. If it's still corrupt, try repeating the steps and copy the header of another working photo. Alright, I hope you found this useful. Uh, it certainly helped me a lot. Feel free to contact me on Twitter at surplus1 if you have any questions, want to script this or make a program to automate this painful process. I would love to have it.